As the trigger is pulled, the trigger bar pulls the firing pin back. The connector guides the trigger bar downward, releasing the firing pin and allowing it to strike the bullet primer. The expanding gases from the powder charge propel the bullet out of the barrel. The recoil forces the slide back unlocking the barrel as it tilts downward and allows the extractor to remove the spent cartridge from the chamber. As the cartridge case is fully extracted, it comes into contact with the ejector and is forcefully ejected from the firearm. As the slide moves forward, the bottom rail of the slide strips a new cartridge from the magazine and pushes it up the ramp of the barrel and into the chamber. The cycle is now complete and the Glock is ready to fire the next round in the chamber. As the slide moves back, the hook on the connector is forced inward. This allows the trigger bar to move upward. As the slide returns forward, the trigger bar regains the ability to retain the firing pin. Releasing the trigger allows the connector to move back into place, again enabling the downward movement of the trigger bar. The Glock contains three safeties. The first is the trigger safety. The trigger cannot be pulled back unless the safety is engaged allowing it to move past the frame. The second is the firing pin safety. The firing pin cannot move past the safety unless the trigger bar has pushed it up, allowing the firing pin to strike the bullet primer. The final is the drop safety. The trigger bar is held in place by the housing. The firing pin cannot move forward unless the trigger bar has moved back and cleared the ramp of this housing. The inside of the barrel contains polygonal rifling. This rifling causes the bullet to spin, providing stabilization throughout its flight and increases accuracy. Cartridges are fed into the firearm via a spring inside the magazine. When the final cartridge has been ejected, the magazine follower forces the slide lock lever up and locks the slide back when the magazine is empty. Pressing the magazine release frees the empty magazine. Rounds are loaded and held under high force of the magazine spring. It's then inserted into the magwell and secured by the magazine catch. Pressing the slide lock lever releases the slide, chambering the first round.